Can now please join with the players and umpires as we stand for the Australian National Anthem. Suit on as long as he can. It is a cold night oh. in Melbourne. They'll be very keen to get moving and uh, get warmed up, and there must be a lot of tension out there, Luke. Oh, absolutely, team. You can just feel the excitement in the, in the ground, the electricity, and the build up for these guys during the week would have just been enormous. So, final oh, day, you want to play call. the best game you possibly just, can. Just come here, turn, turn around, do this way, turn around for the cameras. All right, Luke, your call. Tails is the call, and heads it is. Thanks, guys. Uh, David Neitz has won the toss. He's kicking to the uh, city end or right of screen. And we can tell you, uh, Tim and Luke, Robert and I have been down there. There is a, a bit of a breeze favouring that end as we go down to uh, Christy Malthouse and Andrew Marr. Thanks very much, Cordes. Well, the conditions, Christy, will tell you about those. The ground is absolutely perfect. It is absolutely pristine for the first final. No wonder Melbourne likes playing here. The MCC members is absolutely jam-packed. Well, Grant Thomas said that the conditions won't make much a difference, although for a team that's used to playing under the Telstra Dome roof, I think it'll make a difference for everyone because guess what? The rain has already started and it is pretty blustery here. I know, Stephen, you spoke about it favouring one end, but I think it's picked up since then and it's not really favouring any end, just very blustery. So the rain starts to fall on cue. The mail before the game is that perhaps Aaron Hamill would start in the centre at the opening bounce. That's one to uh, whet the appetite. Justin Kaczynski will start in the ruck. That was the other bit of mail. Perhaps Baker might get the job on Davey. We'll have to wait and see. There's Byron Pickett. There's Hamill. Interesting with St Kilda. They've got the Clark brothers on the bench and veteran strong body players in Pickett and Andrew Thompson starting out there. Well, Hamill's going inside his attacking 50. Kizitsi is going to start the ruck, and she's on, boys. I feel like Nathan Carroll just had the look in his eye during the anthem of a man looking forward to this. There's the veteran Harvey Thompson. Ball is having a final discussion before the opening bounce. Pickett, Voss has got the job on him by the looks of things. Well, Byron Pickett's about 10 metres off the centre square line. Whoever plays on Byron Pickett, their instructions will be to block his run so that he doesn't charge in and clean up someone. We're ready to go in the finals for 2006. St Kilda versus Melbourne. Kaczynski up against White. White got first hand to it. Hamill came in hard off the line. Umpire let that go. Picked up by Wheeler. Melbourne with the first clear possession. This is young Jones who goes out wide to the southern stand side. Davey's got the pace. Got the bit of the fumbles there. Baker behind him. Soccer's off the ground. Davey has another crack. Sliding in there as Green. He's tackled and he's been pinned. Oh, that was a hot call from umpire Goldsby. Off the ball. Holland and Gary. She is on. There's St Kilda. Go deep inside 50. The G train against Holland again. Gary the clever tap to Mill. Mill has a snap. St Kilda on the ball. What a start for the Saints. Robert Walls and Luke Darcy. Oh, an outstanding start, quarters, and how good finals footy. You can just feel the pressure straight away in this game. The ability to win the ball in the contest is going to be so important. Stephen Milne here, he's only kicked five goals in his previous four finals, so to get one away early, 
That's a worrying sign already for Melbourne. He's so dangerous, Stephen Mill. There was Hamill off the line. That was expected, and he didn't disappoint. And G-Train starting so well with that clever tap to set up the Milne goal. So it's Whelan on Milne, and as you've seen, Baker on Davey. And there are a couple of heavyweights. Rivers is playing on Aaron Hamill. Carroll's playing on Rewalt and Ben Holland at full back on the G train. Perfect bounce by Brett Rosebury. Kozitski ran out without the helmet. He's wearing it now. McLean gives the Demons their first crack. Sam Fisher attacked that bravely and did well. Beats off Neitz's charge to Lee Fisher. And the Saints look good again. Here's Milne. Four to the wing. Needs to do something. Always has a trick up his sleeve. Oh! Stages in a game, get your kick away, don't let the opposition run you down like that, get the big cheer going. He got past one there, and no surprise to see Byron nailing. Well, it was an arm over the shoulder, but free kick given for holding the ball. Pickett, has he got the carry? He hasn't, and Box is in front of Rivers. So Brett Voss, the shorts on to Kaczynski. Now Goddard, and his kick safely finds Sam Fisher. He's going to switch over to the members' side now, the Saints, to Hudson. Harvey's loose in the middle. So the Saints work it forward nicely. Chips to Revolts! Now he's struck back in the goal score. square. Just a little too far out. He goes to the lead of Gary, who waits for it to bounce. Quarters, I think they'll mix and match their forward setup. Already we've seen Aaron Hamill start at half forward, drop back to the goal square. Fraser Gehry getting out to half forward. And uh, they're very versatile, they're three big forwards. You notice the clock on the screen counting up. We've got a problem with the countdown clock at the moment in this opening quarter. There's Montagna, that's a clever centre with the left boot. Melbourne free kick against Mellon. Ready, well on yours. Whelan's footy. And Brad Green is away for the Demons. And Pickett right in the heart of the action early. Laying a tackle, winning a free. First kick didn't hit the mark. This one does. Sylvia. St Kilda with the only score of the match. To Bruce. As the Demons look to build something here. Great menu of scoring forwards have Melbourne. And here comes the biggest of them. Neats. The bounce beats him. Miller's a chance at the back. Lays the shepherd. Neats from a long way. Curling ball. the Saints. He started well here. Well, he could have started any better, Tim, than uh, that. In the lead-up to that bit of play, he really pushed off Max Hudson particularly hard. Got a bit of break on him and Max fell over. Big Neat has just swung around and to kick that one from the boundary, don't worry about the way it spun him in. Every bit of that, David Neats. And just a worrying sign for Max Hudson. He had eight, eight kicked on him last time. To have one early is a bit of a worry, wasn't it? And that was the kick of a man who knows the MCG like the back of his hand. Knew exactly where he was, what he needed to do, and in front of the faithful, in front of the old members stand. Well, that was some sort of goal from David Neats. And Adam Uze, the dangerous goal kicker. He had Graham, and now he's got Lee Fisher. Graham, they ideally want Graham to play up across half-back so he can give them a bit more dash. Bam. Wide the tap. Ball! Like ball! Like ball! Like ball! Free kick for holding off the ball. It is oh, going to Luke Ball. Luke Ball! So the umpire go, spotted go. that from about 50 metres away. As ball kicks to Harvey. He goes to another veteran to Peckett, who plays on, kicks into the pocket to Gary. That's the worry, I think, with Ben Holland. If Gary gets on the lead, he'll be too quick for Ben Holland. Holland is very good in the one-on-one -on -one contest, but the Saints would realise that Holland's deficiency is the acceleration, the first four or five steps, and uh, already Fraser Gehrig has got out in front of him several times, and that's a great shot of it. He's third on the goal-kicking table this year, 68 goals, 35. It's coming back, but not enough. Good sign with Fraser's body language, really. He looks up and about. He had a bit of a wrestle with Ben Holland at the start of the game. When he's got the aggro up, it's a good sign for Fraser. Carroll dropping that on the left boot. His up was an afterthought. Green has to get rid of it. Kicks to a one on two, hoping for Miller. All he could do was contest. Voss, Johnston's on now for the Demons. Miller applying pressure too. The veteran Thompson clears. All oh, courage required. 
courage delivered, but Davey comes away with the prize, and here comes Nita. Couldn't hang on, surrounded by Saints. Graham Kuzitsky, Lee Fisher, Davey applying his usual pressure, but Fisher finished up with the ball. Harvey, the veteran, and the Saints can press on the counter-attack. Revolt, and at the back, Xavier Clark will line them up. Well, Xavier Clark has deserved this shot on goal more than anything. That's an outstanding contest. He came off the bench. This probably hasn't been the best part of his game, to be honest with you, but that was extraordinary courage, and he's been rewarded in the best possible way. He got up, ran hard down into the forward 50, couldn't deserve this shot on goal anymore. And if he gets it, uh, what a confidence booster for the entire St Kilda team. So seven minutes in for a seven-point lead. Oh, it hasn't got the carry. The Demon defence almost weren't going for it. Montagna scores a behind. I think everyone assumed it would be going through. He just did not make good contact with that disappointing result. Ward to do the kicking in. Thanks, Steve. And he goes the short option to Whelan. And chips over to Green. Now to the run of Ward again. Forced onto the left by Revolt, and he makes a good job of the kick too as he hits Cameron Bruce on the chest on the wing. Short to pick it. Thought about dishing off. Now he's going to unload the long kick. The lead is good, and the delivery is perfect. Brad Miller will shoot for goal. Melbourne's forward structure is working really well at the moment. They've got Miller at Senar forward, David Neitz in the goal square, and plenty of space for, for both those guys. You look at the top of the screen there. Look at all the space there behind Brad Miller. Neitz was one-on-one, -on -one. Miller's one-on-one. -on -one. That's all you want as a forward is plenty of space and a one-on-one -on -one, uh, opportunity. Just the two goals this season to Brad Miller. Played the 13 matches before tonight. From 45. Demons get their second. Interesting uh, hit-out stats, uh, a four-zip in favour of uh, Melbourne at this stage. So a big is coming up for uh, Kaczynski. Love to get his hand on the ball here. Demons in front for the first oh, time. White won it. McLean on the break for Melbourne. This is good. Neats with two against him, and the kick was too strong. At the centre bounce, Goddard was the extra man in defence for the Saints. Jones the extra man in the back line for Melbourne. So both playing one back behind the ball. That was a lovely kick from Goddard to set St Kilda in motion. And Kaczynski gives to Ball. Out at the edge of range there at 50. Kicks to the top of the square. Revolt. Not quite. Carroll. Jones for Melbourne. And the Demons get off the hook. Ward. They're away here. They've got the overlap. He's run into trouble. Rivers. Here's Davey. Awkward for him there. Bruce. Forced to go to the boundary, Tim, because when they looked up, Brendan Goddard was that the big saint just setting himself up across the half back line. No, that wasn't a mark. Good decision. Grant Thomas, you can see the frustration just almost, but not quite. And Goddard now at this situation here, half back flank for the Saints, dropping back in front of the goals. Jamar got the tap towards Davy. Baker's in there for St Kilda. Now Harvey. Oh, good hands to Peckett. Del Santo on the right boot, just pops it up. Hamill's there, Rivers picks him off. Ward keeps the ball alive, beautiful handball. To Whelan, to Rivers, to Bruce, to Jones. Great teamwork by the Demons. Jones is off and running, kicks to the 50 to Uze, who makes the contest and gives away the free kick. It's awesome kill the deep in defence. Well, there's the spare man in defence again, but it was Jones of Melbourne who set it up. Uh, so both teams capitalising on that extra man playing back. Goddard ignored a long lead from Revolt, who ran beyond the centre circle. Hudgeton now gives to Revolt. Gee, cover some ground, Luke. That's great work, right? He ran 200 metres to get that footy there. It's attack and counter-attack here. Goddard, who is a massive kick of the ball, gives Gehrig a bit of a run at this. Not a great kick, though. Just a bit too lofted. Holland to Carroll and Clark. Again, put his head over the ball bravely. Bruce turned it over. Saints still a vague chance. Whelan, though, beats them to the ball. Clark's paid this time. He's down and taking a while to pick himself up. They're a man short as they try and build again. Well, 
I just think, Luke, if the Saints play Goddard back without an opponent, Melbourne play Young Jones, it'll be to the advantage of St Kilda because Goddard, the more experienced player and the better kick. Yeah, spot on. That's a great sign for St Kilda, though. Two great efforts from Xavier Clark. He's up. McLean with strength. Broke the tackle. Gave it off to Green, and he'll run the lines here, Green. He has a couple of bounces. Davies loose in the goal square. He kicks in his direction. Here's a chance for the little... Demon Davy, oh, he's taken down off the ball. Umpire let that go. Baker, quick hands was good. And Fisher well repelled for St Kilda. Direct football up the middle. And he finds Hamill, who's looking to get it moving quickly. He does so now. Back to Fisher. Fisher now to Gary. Oh, electrifying play by the Saints from deep in defence. And it was great quarters with the run straight down the middle of the ground by Sam Fisher. He came straight down the middle. He hit Hamill in the centre square, who got that handball across. And again, Gary on the fast lead. Too good for Ben Holland. In fairness to Holland, I think he would have beaten anyone because that ball was delivered so well. So Fraser Gehrig from about 48 metres out. Gets his first for the night. Well, I call it that Davey was taken out of the contest. Was it a free kick? Gee, it's a close one. Absolutely a free kick, I would think, on closer inspection. The Saints are back in front. And Ricks into the ruck, Kaczynski in the goal square. No crap footy here. This has been a thrilling start. Like Del that. Santo bounces it forward. Bell, so do I when it's played like this. Raf Clark with his uh, big brother in some bother. And a ball up. No, there won't be a ball up yet. And I'll tell you what, Tim, I hope a few of the teams that finished in the bottom six are having a good look at it and uh, realising this is the way that you play and this is the way that you excite your fans. And he's back here. Yep, Justin Schmidt calling it. It was there. Hey, 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 easy. Right out, come on. Come Del Santo's ball. James McDonald picked him up at the start and looks as though he's placing a pretty tight tag on the brilliant St Kilda left-footed midfielder with the silky disposal. And Garrick, it was a brilliant kick a moment ago. Can he do it again? Yes, he can. With St Kilda in the lead, one player is in the hands of the St Kilda doctors, that is Xavier Clark. They are checking his lower back. He did land quite heavily on it and was quite winded, but also very sore in the lower back. And the G-Train is doing a job on Ben Holland early. Will Neil Danaher make a change? Bruce, good tackle by Peckett. But Bruce is good enough to get the handball away to McDonald. In quite early, in fact, it's his first stat as he goes inside 50. There's Graham himself, got the handball out to Lee Fisher over to Thompson sweeps the handball to Dal Santo who kicks to the wing and Revolt working hard again, Carroll takes him over the line but Revolt keeps the ball alive well done, and a soccer drop oh, what about that? 35 metres soccer kick, Robert Harvey Garrick's too quick for Holland, got to make the change, change. Yeah. he's got to make the change and I think it may well be uh, Rivers who goes on to him He's got, or perhaps Carroll, but the problem is, and you, and you picked it, Luke, Ben Holland will struggle. Maybe maybe Ben Holland goes on Kaczynski. That's about the only one he could go on, I think. Yeah, Carroll to, uh, Carroll to Gehrig and uh, Rivers to uh, Revolt, I think, is the move. Fraser Gehrig for his third. They made the change, boys. Well, it had to happen. Holland's gone onto Kosicki. That's about the only one that he can go with. And Rivers has gone onto Revolt. And Carroll onto Gehrig. What a quarter by Fraser Gehrig. He set up the first. He kicked the second, the third, and the fourth. And it's headed in his direction again. Harvey, who gave it to him a moment ago. Revolt leads Rivers. And couldn't quite hang on, but he'll get it free. Contact came late, but it did come. There it is. And this is his quality. He's so brilliant, he requires so much attention. Oh. He's after Kozietzki, who's unmanned. And he's got it. And Ben Holland is screaming at Nathan Carroll, saying, where were you? What about some help? 
poor old Ben Holland, he's got the horrors because he was caught 30 metres from his direct opponent. Looks like Nick Del Sano might have popped his shoulder there, Wolsey. I'm not sure how serious it is, but... Kuzitsky from right in front for the Saints' fifth. He's got a hook on it, and it didn't straighten enough. A wasted opportunity. And a lucky let off for Melbourne. Adam Uze started the game 18 minutes in. He's just been taken off. He hasn't had a disposal as yet. Johnston short to Ward. Oh, the Demons are a little rattled. Uze no touches. Russell Robertson no touches. McDonald one. Yeah, Neats one. Well, they really haven't had it in their forward line, but uh, their forwards are going cold, Melbourne. Carroll kicks to a contest. Montagna dropped it. Rivers, good follow-up by Montagna to tackle. And there is Lee Fisher. Fed it out to Mill, who turned beautifully. Mill now stops the kick. Got a little bit overexcited and it found uh, Holland, who got it to Whelan, to White. Boy, the Demons are under the pump here. Travis Johnston, beautiful tackle by Ricks. Umpire said play on. In there is Powell, kept the ball alive. Slap forward by Johnston. In there is Green. Desperate stuff there from Powell, and he's rewarded with a free kick. Well, just a silly push in the back. He handballs off because he's not a great kick, gives it to a man who is a great kick. Revolt Holland does the job this time. Well, well done, Ben Holland. He's had a torrid start to a final, if ever anybody has, but uh, got across to help a teammate then. The Demons are jumpy back there. They need steadiness, and they need some leadership right now. Ricks. Well done to Powell. Couldn't get onto his preferred left foot. And there's got to be a ball. Well, he's coming out the back. He's coming out the back. St Kilda lead by 15 points. They've kicked the last three goals. And they have Melbourne on the hop as the rain starts to come in. And that makes any lead achieved early even more valuable. Harvey brilliantly to ball. Well, the mark inside the forward 50 is worth its weight in gold. And Robert Harvey's one of the smartest players. He saw his young skipper in a bit of space. Didn't blaze away at the goal square. Robert Harvey, great vision. That kick travelled about 18 metres. But it just means that the young captain can have a set shot for goal. And if he gets it, Demon's in big trouble. Just four goals for the year. Not a big goal kicker, and that is a shocker. Out on the full. Free kick to the Demons, Andrew Marr. Early goals are going to be really, really vital here now, Tim, with the rain starting to absolutely team down. Some bad news for St Kilda. Xavier Clark has gone into the rooms for some treatment. Well, he's paid a very heavy price for a couple of really Whoa. courageous acts early. And Xavier Clark. So if he can come back out. There's the marks taken by McLean. And look at that rain. And he's starting to pour down. McLean to Green. Shorts it to Johnston. Frankie and leader. Frankie one more. Back one, Frankie. Pickett called back on the mark as Johnston kicks. But they're very, very stagnant at the moment, the Demons. To half forward, White can't take the diving mark. Beautifully swooped on by Sam Fisher. Found Harvey. The oldest man in football. Gets a handball over to Graham and kicks to open spaces. Uh, Fraser Gehrig was caught napping there. Carroll read it much better. And consequently gets the easy ball to the wing. Neats takes the mark. Partially smothered by Voss. And it ricochets over to Fisher, to Harvey. Great little handball to Baker. And now the Saints in the middle through Powell. And they keep on coming. And Voss has picked that up low down. Well, Luke, he deserves that because he was the one who put the smother on the Neats kick. Raf Clark made an offer. Revolts up in the square. That's where he's headed. One grab, two. Was that enough? Yes, it was. It's a mark. Mark, it's a mark. Clear mark. Yeah. Tight angle, but kickable. In fact, the good players tend to kick these these days. They trot out a little bit. It's the ninth mark inside 50 for St Kilda, one to Melbourne. The Demons queuing up to block him. Hooked it too much. 
Another one wasted. Three wasted shots. And here's the smother. What a terrific effort by Brett Voss. And then the uh, lunging mark. Gives you an idea of how desperate these Saints are. Mark taken by Whelan. Just not a lot on offer for the Demons at the moment. Whelan forced to kick to a contest again. White against Ricks. Back of the pack is Revolt. Great handball to Harvey. Harvey throws it onto the boot. It's a wonderful kick. That is just extraordinary vision from Robert Harvey. The 45 metre pass and Stephen Milne's marked directly in front. Well, the rain's absolutely teaming down at the moment, but it doesn't seem to have an impact on St Kilda's style. They're still chipping the ball around and playing dry weather footy with it at the moment. If you remember the defining moment in the pre-game was uh, the Saints win against Sydney up in Sydney in the wet. They handled those conditions Just so well. I think they might have that well again tonight. Now he's got to finish this off, Stephen Milne. And he does right through the middle. Milne gets his second. Saints well in control. Aaron Hamill started the game, had a spell on the bench, has just come back on. Ten marks, St Kilda's taken in their forward 50. Nine of those have been uncontested. That's the worrying thing for Neil Danaher. Ball banks right up now. Oh, Meats came storming in. Try to lift the Demons with a bit of good old physical. Ralph Park wrapped up by Sylvia. Oh, no, no, Gee, that's a good. tough call. Byron oh, Epic's opportunity. Pickett is loose and should be able to kick a goal from there. under a bit of pressure by playing on and the kick reflected it that's where you put the champion he said have a look at him just gasping in the breaths Robert Harvey 10 disposals they don't take him off give him a spell in the goal square disposals inside attacking 50 18 to 3 in favour of St Kilda mark. Nathan Carroll good mark oh. short oh, to Whelan well, Ben Holland is back on Fraser Gehrig. That's interesting. And again, Nick, where you are? Spell. Have a look at Byron Pickett, Luke. He's going hard. Oh, not 15, Paul! Short to Green, not 15 to the umpire, and the quick kick. Oh, just in touch. Just an early sign. They're trying to be a little bit too cute with the, uh, the wet footy. I mean, it's going to become genuine wet weather footy. You've just got to get the ball down the line. There's Byron blowing uh, pretty hard, as Wolsey said at the moment. They've got to get the ball forward and uh, start playing a bit of wet weather footy. Demons haven't been able to make it work up forward. Baker giving away a three. Get the footy, Davey! Oh, Aaron Davey's got, got, got to control himself here. He just got a little wound up there. Pressure yeah. telling on the Demons. They've got to hold their nerve here. They've been rattled early. 21 points down, and St Kilda's defence, much maligned over the last couple of years, has improved in leaps and bounds and been very good in this opening quarter. Cameron Bruce is playing on Robert Harvey. Cameron Bruce has pushed into the forward 50 for Melbourne, just giving Harvey, you know, making it hard for him with the run. Demons not playing with any flow, just trying to hold on to the ball here, and now to find something inside 50, but St Kilda have really flooded. First full-on flood we've seen tonight. That is a massive flood. Now, there's Cameron Bruce, who's got away from Harvey. Not a player behind Bruce. Forced wide. Robertson gave him a good target. And can line them up. And he is a very good kick. Yeah, he is. It was a great kick in the end by Cameron Bruce uh, to find. You look at all the defenders, and there's not a lot of space. That was really the only option he had, and he found uh, Russell Robertson with, a, with an outstanding kick. You don't want it up in this pocket too often. Very hard to score from here. He knows these pockets pretty well. Not enough on it. They could have done with that. They trail by 22 points. St Kilda have produced a brilliant opening quarter. 20 points the margin. Yeah, they have indeed, uh, Tim. And I think Xavier Clark has got to put his hand up, and I'm sure Grant Thomas will go down to him at uh, quarter time. As we see a little bit of a scuffle here going into the, the break of boys uh, letting off a bit of steam, but it was two great contests by Xavier Clark. A lot of courage, 
really set the tone for his teammates. They've worked really hard. Robert Harvey, 10 disposals in the first quarter. You can't believe that Melbourne will allow the champ, the champ so much space, and he has. They've dominated the quarter. They really could have almost uh, sewed it up quarters. They've played so well. Who can play wet with, with footy the best? That's going to be the challenge uh, in the second quarter. Yet nine scoring shots to four, and Fraser Gehrig has got three for St Kilda. Stephen Mill got a couple, and the goal scorers for the Demons, one each to Brad Miller and David Neat. Sudden death elimination final, 2006 AFL final series on your Premiership Network, Channel 10. Ben Holland's gone with him, back in the goal square, and angry Aaron Hamill. Saints by 20 points, and Kozitski gives them first movement forward. Whelan came the other way. The umpires let it go, and it just might slide out. Not now. Ryan came out. If you're Ben Holland or uh, one of the defenders at the moment, you're praying for as much rain as you can because it obviously suits the defender. It's going to be harder to mark, and that might help Melbourne out a bit. For Melbourne, Johnston, Robertson and Uze, just two possessions between them. Harvey has been a star. Ten in the first quarter. That's number 11. Hamill now with Rivers. They're at it before the quarter started. And Hamill's applying pressure, forcing a mistake. Dive for the line, and Darren Goldspin says throw it in. Angry man, Aaron Hamill. Two hard tackles, and a little bit to finish it off. That's what's caused this. The game goes on. Plenty happening as Revolt just stood into the hot spot. Hopes for the best. Holland did well. Got the handball out to Davey in the back pocket. Still a box on behind play as Aaron Davey sidesteps. Little one, two to wide. He's run down by Graham. Turnover. Harvey bowled over by Pickett. Won the hard ball, but the handball missed a target. Whelan under pressure. Fed it back to Holland. Holland, however, heats hot out there at the moment. Bruce over the ball. Bang! Going in hard was Thompson. That's a chart. That is not... to report and a free kick. Hold it, Brucey. And Whelan also down off the ball. He's a rough conductor. Dodgy way No, it's a free kick. Looks like a right shoulder. Umpire Goldspink in terrific control there. Your commentator, Robert Walls, at the MCG. Kick not great from Bruce Kozitski for Harvey's 12th disposal of the ball. And Revolt, another star. In fact, really, he set the scene for St Kilda in the first quarter. Ward, a good spoil. Bell bringing it down to Pickett. High tackle by Milne. We need more rain to cool this one down. <laughs> it's white hot, isn't it? At the it moment. is. Well, there's a man who won't mind that, but... Matty Whelan is in bother. Melbourne defending grimly at the moment. It's a little dangerous, but Robertson's OK. White. Carroll. Defender up in midfield. Had to get it off just in time. Leisha in the way. And St Kilda's defence right on top. And here he is again, the 35-year-old. Possession number 13. He uh, finds Kaczynski, who kicks to the long lead of Mill, And that allows to go to Andrew Maher with a report on Matthew Whelan. Oh, his terrible run of luck seems to continue here. Quarters, it's a right AC joint or collarbone. You see here he gets driven into the ground here by Stephen Baker. Ooh. Takes all the force on that right shoulder. And he looks like a man who won't be taking any further part in this game. Indeed, their season if it goes beyond tonight. Well, he was the best player for the Good Demons. Day. He had 10 disposals in that first quarter, most of them in contest. So he's a hard nut that they'll sadly miss. Now the free kick off the ball for a hold going to loop ball. <coughs> again, we have a problem with our feed from the timekeepers, so the clock will again tick up in this second quarter. Inside the Saints attacking 50, Rivers mops up. Oh, Jones lost the handle on it. It is a slippery footy. It's Rivers slung out of the way. A little toe poke by Davey. Picked up nicely by Milne, who stood up in the tackle. Got it back to Ball. One down by Pickett. Picked up by McLean. He loses it. Montagna's in there. Bell try to pick it up. White stripped to the ball. Hamill goes hard. This is fantastic stuff. Milne 
over to Dal Santo. Hot on his heels is Davy. Ball still alive. Into the forward pocket for St Kilda. Green under pressure. Handball went oh. straight to Thompson. Bowl over by Jones. This is great finals. Push. Here, stay back at your kick. Oh. Late free kick oh, awarded to Baker. Goes quickly. Revolt on Got the end of him. Free kick. Well, it was a good kick. It's a good kick. It's a good kick. You heard the umpire. Once you've got the back to the ball, you're finished. Eyes were off the ball, the Demon defender. There's no doubt St Kilda, at every opportunity, uh, crash banging into Aaron Davey. And the Demons in danger of losing the plot. And the match with it. Revolt extends the lead to 26. Plenty of banter between Carroll and Revolt as Neil Danaher looks on. His team is in trouble. Again, Fraser Gehrig up at half forward. Hamill back in the goal square. From the bounce, Thompson, Montagna, out to Harvey. Disposal number 14 to half forward. Gehrig just split over the pack and the G-Train has kicked. A point. He had too much time to think about it. Was it was all set up for the G-Train who split over. He's got three goals too. Well, he got the footy and the seas parted and he thought, I, I can have a few extra steps here and make a certainty of it. I think he got the jitters. <laughs> <laughs> had time to think about it. Well, they had three players who had kicked more than 20 goals for the year. They've kicked all their goals between them so far. Here's bait for the Demons. Good turn of speed, plenty of confidence. Neats. No one roving him. Sylvia arrives. Back to Neats. A wide open 50. One on one here. Robertson. Good bounce. Pick it there with him now. Needed clean hands. Taken out of it. Voss. Ball. St Kilda not making mistakes when it's their chance. Kuzitsky. Bad fumble. McLean arriving. He's in trouble. Kuzitsky's down. He's in trouble. Kuzitsky again. Right. Could the worm turn on this? McLean, funny old bounce. Had to get rid of a terrific pressure from Luke Ball. Bait. Oh, and St Kilda just worrying Melbourne out of it. Del Santo, Voss. Kazicchi coming off, Tim. That could be it. He's... Del Santo's been put down too. He dropped the mark. He dropped the sitter of a mark. And that meant, here, here we see it. Now, you just got to hold them, and then he gets the crunch. Have a look at it. Yeah, got caught on the side of the head, didn't he? Mm. He's running off, so that's a good sign. Del Santo means I've also got a heavy bump off the ball. He's OK. Voss got it to Thompson, who threw it out. Drive! Yeah, and that's the way the umpire saw it, too. Just great pressure uh, all over the ground at the moment, isn't there, quarters? With uh, every time you get the ball, you're going to get tackled or thrown to the ground. It's great footy. Wow. Now Green, a long kick, and he just blazed away. Did they break him down up forward, Melbourne? No system or purpose at the moment, and they put it inside 50. Robertson somehow won the ball back, squeezed the kick out, and a throw in. Christy Bolthouse. Stephen, Justin Kaczynski on the St Kilda bench, looking quite distressed. He's taken his helmet off, not receiving any treatment at the moment. The doctor's just having a chat to him, but it did look like he copped something to the side of the head and just very distressed about it. Rick's rucking against Neitz and did well. Milne down in defence, just blazing, not making a very good fist of it. McDonald and White. White should Shepherd. No, he went the wrong way, but he can receive. And give to Young Jones. Youngest player in the game. Not a bad hand pass. Bruce just didn't make the sweetest contact there. And the Demons haven't kicked the goal for a long time. And they've got a lot of players who haven't had much of it. Miller one touch, Bate one touch. Travis Johnson just two disposals. James McDonald in a, uh, a season best has only had three touches. Russell Robertson, three touches. So there's room for improvement, Rob. Oh, there is. <laughs> Ricks, good kick out from St Kilda. Kept it flowing. 
probably a little bit too ambitious that handball to Peckett. Powell was run down. Jones goes in hard. So did Hamill. Hamill has another crack at it. Jones is over the ball. Umpire will bounce. Wolsey, that was the message at quarter time to stop Thanks, St Kilda getting ball like they just had in the first quarter in that position. Stop them allowing to sweep the ball inside 50. Rick smashes it forward. Pickett read that one nicely. Not a lot to go to. Now Green. He's starting to get a bit of the football as he kicks to the wing and kicks nicely and finds McDonald. Running for him is Bell. Goddard filling the hole for St Kilda. Demons make a couple of changes. Pick it off. Jamar on. Goddard in the way. Filled the hole beautifully. Free kick. Robertson will take it. Two on one. And there was a shepherd in there. Sam Fisher with Robertson. And... Oh, that's geez, not a free kick. Pretty tough. That's... Jeez, that's just too embarrassingly bad decision. Oh, shocking. He must kick this. He hasn't, you know. Interesting to know Adam Uze's just come on the ground walls. He hasn't had a touch tonight. He's spent more than half the game so far on the interchange bench. Quick kick into Voss. Now on the left. Long kick. Looking for Fisher. Melbourne have got the extra man here. Uze to uh, Davey. Over to Jones. Now Bate to Jamar. Green. Melbourne do this well. Uh, Get the ball in the corridor. That's what they're trying to set up. around with it. They might lose it. Hamill did well just to hold it up. We'll have a bounce. Smack bang in the middle of the MCG. Well, Hamill's at the bottom of the pack. So kill the players going to him because they acknowledge that he's run and chased and huffed and puffed for the last 70 metres, been involved in three or four contests. Demon's starting to do better in midfield, but still making too many mistakes. An unforced error really lets some killer in there. Baker takes it wide. Justin Kaczynski still on the St Kilda bench, but he has been up and walking around and does look much better and like he may be able to come back on soon. And Xavier Clark out of the rooms and on the bike. Good news all round for the Saints, who lead by 25 points. Green, again the hands weren't clean, but there's a free kick. Darren Goldspeck in his 34th final. Getting to fourth on the all-time list. Gives uh, Melbourne the ball, Uze the kick forward, but... Once again, not collected cleanly. St Kilda controlling the psychological and physical battle. Well, Aaron Hamill now playing on Ben Holland. Rewalt back in the goal square on Rivers. And Carroll out at half back on Fraser Gehrig. Saints have still got an extra man in that defensive 50. That's Brendan Goddard, who does that role so well. I think Melbourne has to have a player on him. Looks like he might have a bit of a, a, an egg on the side of his uh, cheek there, but Justin, because it's a bit hard to tell. Brendan Goddard's opponent, Wolsey, is Brad Green, and he's loose on centre wing, whereas Goddard's affecting the play right down deep. Green's got to go and man him up, give a contest down forward for oh, Melbourne. Oh, Johnston, it was an ambitious kick. Mill over the top of it. Green did well not to push him in the back. Uze. That's a typical well Melbourne play from half back and wing. They do try to get it into the central corridor. Can you do it in the rain though, Wolsey? I think they've got to change their style now. If you're going to chip the ball centre of ground with a wet footy, and it is a wet night out there, it's got to be a certainty. It's got to be a certainty. I reckon they've got to straighten it up, reel it in quickly, get the ball forward. Ricks the tap. Powell was caught high and gets to free. Taking it wide for Graham. Had a breakthrough year for St Kilda. Former Lion, originally from Sale. Gehrig under siege here. Holland. Oh, another fumble. Maybe a St Kilda hand in there contributing to it. Rivers to Bell. A high, wide blaze. Voss in front, made a good fist of him. Del Santo gets a free. Bell right back down. Now. Tackle was high. Del Santo's been tagged for the entire game by James McDonald. This is just his seventh disposal. McDonald doing a good job. More than 20 free kicks awarded already. The umpires have been prepared to blow the whistle. And it's been well handled. Raf Clark. 
turning it over. Travis Johnston in the way, has not been able to impose himself on one of the more important games of his career thus far tonight. Dangerous kick here across the ground again from Johnson. Yep, it's the second time he's done that. Fortunately for Melbourne, it comes off or does it. Our ward was excellent. Quick hands back to Green. Kicks the ball inside 50. Robertson attacks it. Meets us at the back of the pack. Gathers now. Good handball over to McLean. Stood up in the tackle, but his handball went straight to an opponent. And the kick comes to the wing. Milne stands his ground. Good effort by Ward. Gives it back to Johnston. Travis Johnson, a lazy kick. Smothered by Fisher. Packett's in there. He's bowled over. Ward has another go. So does Johnston. Fisher. Lee Fisher taps it over the line and will have a throw in. Andrew Thompson, terrific with the tackle to spin his opponent around. And you see it there. He just completes the tackle. He won't let go. Melbourne just not ready for St Kilda's pressure, which has been terrific. The Demons haven't kicked a goal for well over half an hour. And here goes St Kilda. Del Santo with Harvey running for him if he wants. Jones left Del Santo, who slices through, can go all the way, sets it up. Holland did OK on Revolt. How good was that skill by Nick Del Santo with a wet footy? to complete three bounces down the wing and together more will come back up to you with a wet ball. He's just got such great skills. Have a look at this. Should have kicked a goal, really. Big opportunity for the Saints. Up went Jamar. Spilt to White, got it to Holland. Now Carroll. Touches it on the turf. Isn't going to take the risk. Not a lot on offer, though. So he holds it up. And a belt. Uze. Uze. To half four, but it's marked by Thompson. Great body work by Thompson on the young Brock McLean. And Goddard is doing as he pleases as he kicks towards Harvey, but chipping in is Johnston, who's starting to lift. Did that well. This is where they've got to play on quickly and give themselves an opportunity. They get the footy here in this position. It's a slow play. So Kill will get numbers back. And you look at all the numbers behind the footy now. Very hard to score and play this chip around sort of footy. Kick to the wing, bait, good hard tackle. White's in there, so is Powell, who threw it out. Thompson. Maybe playing his last game of AFL football as some killer loses. Another bounce on centre wing. So McLean sent to the blood bin. Demons make a couple of changes. Davey comes back. Just one goal kicked in the quarter so far. See Brad Miller coming on. He's going to go and man up Brendan Goddard, not allow him to play free as a defender. Oh, Decisive thump forward for the Saints. By ball. Peckett. That's becoming a little scrappy. Uh, Fraser Gehrig was involved in three or four hard chases a couple of minutes ago, and he said, uh, I'm a bit tired. And he's pushed right back to the goal square. Smart player. Ricks won the push and shove, won the tap. Ball. Milne here. Ward his opponent now that Whelan's off. But St Kilda continue to apply relentless pressure. Sylvia a chance here. Demons on the break. Now can they make it happen up forward? Bait with Goddard. Bruce roving it well. Too far out. Free kick for a hole. And it's relayed to Neat, so this is an almost certain goal for the Demons. Geez, that looks so much more attacking. They look more likely when they take it on quickly. We saw Sylvia play. Yeah, definite free kick there for a hold against Max Hudson. But the difference was, it was David Neats was about to have a one-on-one -on -one contest in the goal square. That puts so much pressure on Max Hudson. Hasn't had many opportunities tonight, Nita. When he does, he looks dangerous. I reckon you're right, Luke, and I reckon that's a good learning thing for the whole Melbourne team. Get it there quick to the big skipper, one on, and Max Hudson will start to stress. He's just squeezed at home. The Demons trail by 19. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the G train's blown up a little bit, so they've got him off. Kaczynski looks pretty sick and sorry, doesn't he? He does look uh, pretty ordinary at the moment. Brett Voss has gone to full forward for the Saints. Unfortunately, another knock to the head for Justin Kaczynski. How much bad luck can a man have in one season? Uh, 
Well, it's a whistle kick. off the ball here, and it's a free kick. He's got him on the track. Travis Johnston, I think, away from the ball. That's it. Yep. That's it. Well spotted by Umpire Goldspink as the Saints go deep into attack. Revolt the front posse. A little soccer off the ground. Milne, he's dangerous. Two goals, one to Stephen Milne. The margin's an even 20. Oh, no. Oh, bad kick in. Ball. And Harvey. Carroll arriving in the nick. Beats Cameron Bruce. Harvey's down and in some bother, picking himself up slowly. Johnston for Melbourne. Beats Bate. Davey. Edged off it by Baker. Still a chance. This is Melbourne's, Melbourne's way. way. Yeah, just start to swing Melbourne's way. You get a feel the momentum starting to turn. Got to get this footy in quick now for yeah, this position. Quick to the big captain. Instead, it's Robertson. Falling over, now Neitz arrives, the big captain, tied up by two St Kilda defenders. Bell, good pick-up, well done. Good staff, and he sets it up. Magnificent scented ball, instinct kick. Put it to the dangerous spot, square it up. Robert Harvey's got a headache because uh, when he it's crashed to the ground... Bit of whiplash, wasn't it? Bit of whiplash here, let's have a look. Bang. <laughs> Nathan Carroll, quite legitimate, arriving to make the spoil. Beautifully done by Daniel Bell to set up Robertson, who still hasn't kicked one. Did it get there? No, it didn't. Dear. Still the Demons are a chance. Pickett hasn't been able to make much of a mark. Uze couldn't find a way through. Saints hold up. Advantage call. They're away, but it mightn't be for long. Rivers couldn't take the mark, but he brought it to ground. Swooping is McLean. Back inside. Great tackle. Fantastic tackle. And taking the free kick is a big Ruckman in Ricks. Good to see a Ruckman put a tackle on like that. The tackles have stuck by the Saints tonight. Montagna finds Revolt on centre wing. Looking better, Melbourne. Great tackle by Ricks. Now, no one on the mark, so Revolt's oh. off. He shanks the kick into Sylvia. Ricochets to Goddard. Goddard goes short to Powell. And he's got it at half forward. Former Demon. Oh, not 15, Powell! Not 15. So Powell will have another crack at it. Throws it onto the left in the end of the forward pocket. Can Milne get there? No, he can't. Saints by 20. Gehrig ready to come back on. He's got three goals too. Well, we've gone 23 minutes and it's just one goal each in this second quarter. Conditions are tough. Melbourne getting on top in midfield, but still making a lot of mistakes. Powell. Bruce. McLean, that was a good little kick under pressure. First man back, Baker. His opponent, Davey, with him. Goddard. Might wobble out of bounds on the full. So it's Melbourne's ball. Just feel like their uh, pressure skills have really gone up a notch, Melbourne, at the moment. They're not putting it on the scoreboard at the moment, but that tackle by Aaron Davey, some of the work in the forward line we saw before by Russell Robertson. Just a feeling Melbourne are getting themselves back into the contest here. Won't be a long quarter. The Demons need a goal. They're not going to get one here. In fact, it might blow up in their faces. Voss. Again, it was St Kilda's pressure forcing the error. Ball. Hold in here. And come back. St Kilda's ball, ball. In yeah, fact, ball. advanced oh, to the field. spot where the ball was. Just a desperate one-handed tackle by Del Santo. Forced the error, the miss kick by the Melbourne player going forward to give St Kilda a chance to score. Most important kick this one, desperately trying to make a bit of space to find someone on the lead. A goal either way in the dying minutes of the half will be hugely significant in the context of this match. Pack it short to Lee Fisher. Oh, there, and to Goddard. Remember Goddard's torpedo goal a few weeks ago back in Perth? Into the pocket to the lead of Revolt. Sport by Carroll. Ball's still alive somehow. Bell has been good the last 10 minutes. Got it off to McDonald. Now Green to Miller, who takes the slider. 
Keeps it moving. Back to Green. And here's an angry Aaron Hamill on Ben Holland. Cop that. A free kick going to Lee Fisher. And so one suspects that maybe the Saints are ready to ice the clock as we go into the half-time break. Or maybe not. All right. We're going to have another crack at it as Goddard bangs it inside 50. And the mark's taken by McDonald. If they can get another goal, Melbourne, in a low-scoring quarter, they go in with real hope. Well, Robertson's got to be good here. That's got to be against Mill. Took his eyes off the ball. And Melbourne have their chance. Bruce. But Sam Fisher. Ensuring that Miller couldn't keep the forward movement going. So not a lot of time left. Smart play this by Russell Robertson, wasn't it? Because he knew that Mill was heading back towards the fly of the ball. He just needed to bump into him. Won himself the free kick. What did he do wrong, said <laughs> Grant Thomas. Yeah, and he might have had a point. Revolt. Wide open forward half, Powell and McDonald. McDonald a bit too mobile. Rivers, Melbourne with the numbers. Holland, Bell. But the Demons winning plenty of ball, not setting anything up. Green to Rivers, cool headed young fellow. Bruce to McDonald, Bell lurking inside. Well done, they've manoeuvred it around well. Now Cameron Bruce trying to play. Dry weather footy on a wet night. Long to Neats. Has he got a crummer there? He has in bait, but the numbers are against them. St Kilda's defence still holding up and winning the day. Voss to Goddard. And he switches. There's a couple of Saints here. Revolt. Way down at half back, and he kicks to Powell. Pound of the 50, Gehrig's found some space against Carroll. Too far out to score. Hamill says kick it long, he's going to take him on! Oh. He's been derailed. And Gehrig gets up limping. He's hurt himself. Oh, gee. I think he's in big trouble, big Fraser. Yeah, the G-Train's oh. oh. And he is limping. He's got to get off, yep. Yeah. And Carroll goes short. To Holland. War of attrition at the moment. Kaczynski's off. Gehrig's in trouble. Whelan's off for Melbourne. What a half of football in the eliminator between the Saints and the Demons. That bit of play we just saw then, quarters may be a pivotal uh, moment in this game because uh, Big G Train, he steamrolled many players in his past and he tried to take on Big Nathan Carroll. The big fella just nailed him. It looks as though Fraser sustained a bit of an injury. So that's got to be some spirit gained out of that going into uh, half-time for Melbourne. They need that to get it back in, into the game. And good to see Justin Kaczynski up and about. It is the Saints by 20 points at half-time as there's a bit of a bloop. As we go to the break, Pete, hang on, there's a break. There's a bit of a blue on here. We'll stay with it. We're going to stay with it as the two teams come together. Hamill. That's the worry with the races being so close to each other here. Hamill was in there pushing and shoving. Holland, Baker's there. Lots of trash talk at the moment and good work by the umpires to split this up. As Voss still wants to go on with it. So good work by the umpires there. As the two teams go off, it is 20 points of difference at halftime. Start the third quarter. Oh, St Kilda had an extra man in. So Melbourne, the perfect start for them to the third quarter. They get the ball in the middle to White, who goes out wide to McDonald. Oh, that's not going to work in these conditions. Now on the left, McDonald bangs it long to the hot spot. Leeds is there, Robertson's there. Big pack fly staying down was Milne and read it nicely. Oh. Interesting kick. Shoot. <laughs> you'd, you'd have uh, heart flutters. There's a player down. St Kilda player down. Brett Voss hurt in that marking contest. Showed a lot of courage backing back. David, David, hold! Thank well, you. I wonder what sort of injury that is. <laughs> he tends to recover from the knocks to the head, but if it's... A structural injury, he's in serious trouble, and so are the Saints. Gehrig there under suffrage, you would think. Montagna gives to Baker. So the pressure is starting to build on the Saints. Here's Hamill out wide. 
And uh, he's like a bandaged up old racehorse, but he's still going all right. Yeah, Brett Voss looks like he's re recovered okay. Just having a look at the incidents here. Great courage for Brett Voss, as always. He's just copped a decent whack in the mouth, it looks like. Yeah, one on the shoulder and one on the mouth by the looks of things. He's up. Take He'd be disappointed if he came through the match without one or two yeah. of us. Take more than that to keep him down. Big responsibility in this game now goes to Michael Ricks. It looks as though Kaczynski may not take much further uh, action in this game. So Michael Ricks has got a big job to chase around Mark Jamar and Jeff White. And Ricks did that one pretty well. Doing the roving though is Jones to Bruce. Oh, they continue to play dry weather footy in slippery conditions, the Demons. Green mops up though to half forward. Miller worked under the ball nicely. Fisher's going to have to be good here. Sam Fisher. Miller almost intercepted. Has another go at it. Keeps it alive to Bate. Bangs it on the left. Robertson's running back with a fly to the ball. Leeks attacks it. Fisted away from him. Big moment here for the Demons. Johnston can't pick it up. Pickett's back into the contest. It's out. It's out. Leeks. Still in dispute. Now Del Sando stripped of the ball and he's pinned. Well, if we get a shot of the G-Train, uh, he's in a lot of strife, the G-Train. Nathan Carroll, have a look at the free kick here, first of all. And uh, great tackle by James McDonald, McDonald the leading tackler in the, uh, in the competition this year. He's had 135 for the season. But Fraser Garrick coming off the ground as we speak. Nathan Carroll, smart play, ran in the link to the ground. He said, you're not right, Fraser. The big fella hobbling. And uh, he looks like he's struggling at the moment. So James McDonald is lining up. 11th in the AFL this year in disposals, as uh, Luke said, number one in tackles. Kicked just the five goals this season. From right on 50, McDonald has nailed it. The Demons are fighting back at the G. And there's Kaczynski warming up. I really think it's important that Aaron Davies stay around the forward 50 inside it for Melbourne because goals are at a premium. Demons right in this now. White to McLean was very good, but Baker's in the way. Play on! Oh, not sure what that was for. And the Saints are under the pump again. Must have been touched, Tim, off the boot. Yep, that's what it was. It was touched off the boot. Oh, Melbourne applying the clamps right now. Touch ball. To Melbourne's disadvantage initially, but then to their advantage. Raf Clark to Sam Fisher. Davies on the job now. Here's the man with the silky skills, Travis Johnston. Dangerous loose ball here. Jones. Saints control it. Del Santo, not a good kick. In fact, it was a bad kick. Fumble from Bell, costly for Melbourne. Sam Fisher blazes, and Graham leads in the race. The Saints turn to try and set something up. Good creative hand pass. Harvey back to Peckett. No Gehrig to go to now. Their options are limited. Johnston in the way. Terrific work by Johnston, the midfielder, to push back to help out there. And White is starting to take control in the middle. Up against the inexperienced Ricks, and it's a beautiful kick to the 50 and the marks taken by Miller. Great pass from the Ruckman. He's a good kick, Jeff White. Oh. Johnson will fortunately get another go for Melbourne. A little soccer kick. Oh, they're making work hard for themselves, though. Byron Pickett coming off. And a Travis Johnson, just terrific to get back to help out, take that uh, saving mark in defence. The Demons have just never really settled into a rhythm in this match. But they're back in the game. The ball up here. If ever St Kilda needed the experienced midfielders, and I'm talking about... Uh, Thompson and Peckett and Harvey to stand up. It's now because some of their skinny kids are starting to struggle. On a share that time. Saints with numbers around it. Sylvia, clever. Bell had it just for a fraction of a second. Harvey, good kick. Montagna. Gee. Graham is running for him out wide. And he is the target. Bate making a good spoil. 
great one-on-one -on -one battle and the youngster prevails. But he got too much on the soccer kick. A lot of errors in the game now. Sylvia needs to get it out having dived on it. Graham. Gee, there's some pressure in this contest now. The stakes just so high. Season's on the line. Career's on the line. The big uh, difference in this game is uh, Melbourne's pressure. The way they've come out in the second half, uh, this bit of contest here by Bates, outstanding. Aaron Davies laid a few tackles early. They've really gone up a notch, Melbourne. White the tap again to McLean. Tackled by Thompson. McLean with strength. Lucky not to get a free kick against him, though, as they work at half forward, Melbourne. Leeds is there. It's just a, an enthralling contest because scores are so hard to come by. The last 25 minutes of football, just three scoring kicks. Thompson can't control it. White lays the big tackle. Could be a big factor, Jeff White, now with, uh, as we spoke about before, Kaczynski's uh, off the ground. That's a great tackle from the big fella. He's got a lot of experience on Michael Ricks. There's a free kick going Melbourne's way. Too high. Jones, the teenager for Melbourne, the rising star nominee, goes inside 50 to Miller. Too far out to score. Robertson says get it moving quickly. Oh, Put it in quick. Put it on top of Neitz. Oh. Miller. And in the end has hit Bruce on the chest. Even this now is a really hard shot at goal from Cameron Bruce, and he's trying to be clever and uh, straighten up the angle, but uh, I hate to say it, he's, a, he's about a 25% chance from here, which means we'll go back and slide it straight through the middle, but you've got to get that to the top of the goal square and wet weather footy. David Neitz is there one-on-one. -on -one. Take the chance. He's chipped it wide. Not sure if this is the highest percentage bit of play. Converting at 54% this year, Cameron Bruce. 20 goals, 17. This is a tough, tough kick. Oh! <laughs> Justin Kaczynski has just come on and the acids on this and killed the team now. Will they collapse or against adversity will they have one of the best wins in their history? Right now you'd be on the demons. They've been into the 55 times to one in this yeah, quarter. All over him. All over him. And here they go again. Yeah, in the back of the head. Brock McLean. Demons press. Probing ball. Robertson oh. arriving hard. Bell keeping his feet. Close to the line. The Saints led by 27 points. Six minutes into the second quarter and most of it has been eaten away. Inside Melbourne's 50. Ricks against White. At the back of the pack, Johnson's lurking. So is Sylvia. Hot handball to bait. Picked up by Uzo. He's been quiet and up and under. Fisted away by Raf Clark. A couple of Saints spoil each other. No, I didn't have it. Powell. Didn't have the footy. No. Saints out. And the free kick's going to kill his way to Powell. Demons have got Uze into the midfield. Played uh, most of the first half up forward, hardly touched it. That's a free kick to Ball. Had the arms hacked. Yeah. No, it took him. It took him off. Straight out. Rob Harvey gone to the goal square. Cameron Bruce with him. It's an interesting one, that, because you want Bruce in the thick of the action. At the same time, he's had control over Harvey in this third quarter. Kicked the last goal for Melbourne. Free kick so far in the game. St Kilda 17, Melbourne at 19. A lot of free kicks. 36 to be precise. And now that man who died for the footy, Aaron Hamill, he would have been set for four 10-minute bursts in this game. With their injury situation, he's just got to stay out there now. White at the back door. Did it beautifully. Now Bate. Oh, the Demons are looking the better team at the moment. As we're halfway through this third quarter. Mark taken by Sylvia. He's got a couple of shorts on. He decides in the end to kick it long. It's a thumping drop punt. It is a mark on the line to Russell Robertson. And this will make it a two-point ball game.
Just have a look at this hit out uh, from Jeff White. Robertson's goal. <laughs> I think it's fair to say it's game on. Well, uh, obviously partial to the Ruckman, but that bit of play from Jeff White set up that goal. It was an outstanding hit out. The Demons have kicked three goals for the quarter and are back almost where they began. And Brock McLean been busy all night, working hard. Bell, Bate, the youngster rising to the heights in this quarter. McDonald, miscued, but got a result. Uze, who's at the end of it? Miller! Still a chance. Meets. Did well. Jones! Not so well. St Kilda's ball. Gee, what a lost opportunity for Brad Miller. It is slippery. It is difficult conditions. But one went begging there for the D's. Another St Kilda player coming off. Raf Clark injured. They are down to their bare bones at the moment, the Saints. Baker, good job to spoil Jamar. McLean, hard to Sylvia. Short to Uze. In between two Saints, can't mark Peckett. Oh, that's deliberate. Got to be deliberate, it is. Christy Mulhouse. Well, the news just gets worse for St Kilda as Raphael Clark limps to the bench and joins his brother there. Xavier Clark is in a full tracksuit and he's having trouble even sitting down on the bench at the moment. His lower back obviously going into spasm. He looks like he won't return to the ground. Fraser, Fraser Garrick is still in the St Kilda rooms getting his ankle treated. They tried to treat it at half time and couldn't. So things not looking very good for St Kilda on the bench. Bates dropped the ball. 50 metres. <laughs> yeah, 50 against Pickett. The Saints have barely got it into their front half in this third quarter. We've gone almost 15 minutes. Junior, out of the way, please. So no chance for the Saints here. And they are crying out for a goal right now. And here is the man. Well, thanks, Nathan. Michael Ricks, who's rucked for this third quarter, has just come off. That means that uh, you would think Kaczynski's got to be the ruckman. It'll be interesting to see how he handles the buffeting there. Be handy if the Saints had one on the goal line, because this ball's likely to drop short. Look at that stat. Ten in the first quarter. Only one since, and that was it. Revolt. Who virtually has to pick this team up now and carry them on his shoulders. And that is not a very good start. Bruce Marks. Andrew Marr. It's the complete opposite in the Melbourne camp. We know about Matthew Whelan, but they're starting to really roll their numbers around now. They just need five or ten minutes from Aaron Davey. If they can get that from him, they could blow this game to pieces here. Andy, the G-train's up on his feet on the boundary line. He's definitely had a jab, Walls. He, he was moving a lot more freely when he came back on then. He's got one last effort in him, I reckon. Pick it. Good kick. Milne in the goal square. Doesn't let his team down. Oh, and Stephen Milne will run up for goal number three. Anything can happen here. This, yeah. man, this man He's with the foot. And Stephen Milne has missed, I think. Uh, He's uh, not celebrating. I told that's you. the reason. <laughs> Anything can happen. <laughs> two goals, two to Stephen Milne. Oh. It's the Saints by three points. He does nothing by half measures. Always prefers the more complicated way. That's their first score in 16 and a half minutes in this third quarter. Adam Uze started quietly. I mentioned early in the second quarter, Johnston, Robertson and Uze had two possessions between them in the first quarter. They had 15 in the second and all three are getting better. Peckett from behind, fisting it the Saints way. Jones, well tackled by Montagna. Ball to Peckett. And the Saints have a chance. The former Demon Powell from a long way. That won't do the job. They lead by four points. Well, Kaczynski's in the ruck, trying to run with Jamar and struggling to do so. Adam Uze, nice kick to bait. Short back to Uze. 
He's run from fullback. To Bruce, again back to Uze. Now Miller works his way to the front. Almost. Kaczynski, your head over the ball again. Now that's released. Powell, oh, good handball to Thompson. Look out, here comes Byron. Just got rid of it in the nick of time. Good kick by Thompson, pulled the kick, meant that. Saints getting their share of it at the moment, but Revolts have to come a long way from goal. Demons have got extra numbers in this defensive 50 of theirs. Jeff White pushing back. Del Santo playing in the forward line. There's no Garrick. There's not a lot to go to. Powell now. And they are all too aware that without Revolt in the 50, there's just not much there. Peckett, Montagna, taking a long time to go anywhere. Now Revolt. You know, they, did well. they had to wait for Revolt to get back there. Remember, Revolt had that mark about 75 metres out. Chip, 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 chip. Revolt got back. You might say it's good play, but that's how down they are in their marking forward department. Just have a look at his work rate, Nick Revolt, though. As you said, he just keeps working and working and presenting the whole time. He's an absolute superstar. Now, the last set shot was an absolute shocker. They need this. And he delivers like the champion he is. Nick Revolt, 17 disposals, eight marks, two goals, one. Davies come on to replace Pickett. Aaron Davey hasn't had a touch in this third quarter, nor has Byron Pickett. But I do think they need to keep Davey forward. Goals, scarce to come by. We know what Ooh. magic he's got. Gee, Miller lined up, Baker and missed him. In fact, it was Ball he lined up and missed him as he ran off the line. Is that deliberate? No, it's not. No, good decision. Good decision. Wet footy. Got to give it his points. That was the Miller line up on uh, Luke Ball. He missed him, fortunately, for both parties. A geesh. <laughs> Darren Goldspick was the umpire, and had it been deliberate, Rob, he wouldn't have missed it. Well, he doesn't miss a trick, Tim. Bruce Handball intercepted by Harvey. He's tackled by Uze. Free kick going Melbourne's way. Wonderful tackle by the best tackling team in the AFL. Uze into the middle. There's a couple of demons here. Baker's brave in the middle. Backed into the pack. Held them up momentarily, but weight of numbers wins out. Bell inside 50. The mark's taken there by Sam Fisher. He's a solid player. And that kicks out wide, and it's a good option too. Goddard. Strong mark. Saints by 10. Demons got to within two. Brennan Goddard. Out to the lead of Del Santo. James McDonald made life oh, very hard for his eight. Very clumsy for Matthew Bate. They had three on one. That was needless. You could almost see James, Dolan, James McDonald waving Matthew Bate away in disgust and saying, I did all the hard work. And he gave away a silly free kick. He's done an outstanding job on Nick Del Sando tonight. Well, Saints have never lost the lead. Well, not since early in the first quarter, but during this phase of play. And yet, you can say they've worked their way back into the game in the last few minutes. Graham to Sam Fisher. Kaczynski's in the ruck, but he's dropped right back to the goal square. Jeff White with him. Lee Fisher fumbling and slipping. Graham. Baker. It was laborious, but they've got it in there. Milner arriving with the spoil. Gee, it's tough. It is very tough. It is thrilling. Thompson. Milne back for another go. Johnston. The idea was right. Green is wrapped up. The umpire's letting it go. They've done a very good job tonight. Milne, that's clever. Kaczynski! He's been hovering around the goal square for the last 90 seconds. Jeff White was with him. The soccer kick. Luck comes into it. But there's no doubt that Milne tried to put it, keep that ball alive. And this is... Well, you'd have to give him credit for it, Luke. Well, this is a massive, massive moment in the game here. If Kaczynski can kick this... They might just have stemmed the tide and smart play from Kaczynski. 
And a big roar as Gary comes back. And an even bigger roar now. The Saints by 16. Straight back. Fraser Garrick's back, stalking behind the goalpost. Well, Carroll should run off him at every opportunity. Saints have rallied. Back out to 16 points. Fine. Leading stack getters in the game for uh, St Kilda. 17 inch to Harvey and Revolt for the Demons. 22 to Green and 19 to Bruce. White the tap. Loop ball. All wrapped up by Sylvia. Made a lot of moves this quarter, Grant Thomas. Rick's playing at centre half back. Kozicki in the ruck. Gary gone and off the ground. Oh, Again, a clumsy tackle. Was Thomas oh, Travis Johnston. Yeah. Let's go. 50 is long. Just, let's go. Come on, just 50. Go. That'll this make it within goal kicking distance. Oh, and Frankie Pickett can kick a long ball. And I reckon it'll be a generous one too from umpire Schmidt. And it is, it's extremely generous. He's still going. Just take it out! And Pickett will shoot from 45. It's got to be 60. Hey, clearly kicked the right whistle and gone. That was a free kick. It's the way in play. So this, all of a sudden, to make it 22 points again in favour of the Saints. Just what it looked like, the tide was turning. Well, it'll be four goals to the Saints if he gets it for this quarter and three to the Demons. Pickett. Never looked like missing. Just concentrate on the ball, OK? The Travis ball. Johnston blowing his call. Michael Ricks at centre-half back on Brad Miller. The 50th goal of Justin Pickett's 252-game career has given the Saints a 22-point lead. Stephen Baker's been outstanding on Aaron Davey tonight. He's absolutely uh, just shut him right out of the game. The Demons appeared to have dug a grave for St Kilda, but the Saints have climbed out. They're attacking again. Justin Kaczynski, last centre bounce. Bang. He's just got to tough his way through this game. All the Saints do because they've hardly got anything left on the bench. Revolt climbing in. It was his steadying goal that lifted St Kilda. Chance for Johnston to atone for past sins. And that was good. Very good. Sylvia to pick it. He's been here and he's done it before. Cleverly done. To Ward. Oh, for Melbourne a chance. <clears throat> Free kick to David Nets. That's Max Hoxton. How many times has that happened tonight? Two or three. No good looking up at the screen, Max. You just can't afford to be grabbing hold of your opponent. Free kick, high tackle. You wrap your arms around them like that. The umpires are going to pay a free kick. Have all season. And the skipper knows he has to deliver this. Face locked in concentration. The kick's true. The Demons are on the way back. Less than three minutes to go. Jeff White comes off for a spell. This is interesting. Bell's gone on to Harvey. That's a good move by Neil Danaher because it frees Cameron Bruce up to go into the midfield. Brock McLean wins the clearance. Wobbles one inside 50 meets, attacks it. Pickett, Byron Pickett, goals! There's two. no predicting the no. course this game will take. No, two quick goals, got the back. Uh, Nick Rewalt ran into the back line after that goal by Pickett. Now he's uh, set up on the wing, but heading into defence. They want to shore up. Veteran Thompson gains a few metres for the Saints. Sylvia for Bruce. Goddard with him. This will be a good contest. Saint fans want to deliberate. They don't get it. Time for another score. 
It's interesting how Harvey's been used the last 10 minutes. Harvey's uh, underneath this contest, but he spent the last 10 minutes oh. in the forward line. And now Del Santo's there. Davey hasn't been his night so far. Rooster Green. Rivers has gone forward. And gives Revolt some of his own back. <laughs> He's been forced forward, hasn't he, really? That's always the worry. It's always the worry. The forward will go back. He hasn't got a defender's mentality. And he can give his opponent three or four metres. That's all you need to do. We saw it there. And we know Rivers can mark as well as anyone. Doesn't go for it. Sits it up. No one at the back. Pickett and Voss. Couple of hard nuts. Stays alive. Robertson loves a goal. Doesn't get it. Meets is there. Had it, lost it. Fights on. Hudson, Bruce, Uze, Sylvia. He's missed. Yeah, Maxie Hudson's uh, struggling. Graham goes short and finds Goddard. Yes. Spots up Thompson at half back. He plays on, kicks to half forward. Looking for Gehrig, can hardly move. Jama head over the ball. Got the handball away to Bell. Good tackle by Milne. It was well done by Mark Jama there, quarters, because all the play was going behind him. He couldn't let that ball go out the back. Some kid are about to sweep. Well done. Well, they all missed that one. McLean again, little toe poke. Milne's there. Johnston into the picture. Paolo to the top of him. Right here now. Kaczynski's at centre half forward without an opponent and he's crouching down. We see Bell running back to get him. He's uh, just trying to fox those demons. <laughs> Jamar got the tap. Here's Pickett caught high by Pickett. Pickett and Pickett. Dominating the clearances at the moment, Melbourne. This is the last six clearances of all going Melbourne's way. Oh, it's a dodgy old kick. It's cut off by Mill. Aaron Davies having a horror night. Pickett, can he make amends for his mistake? He can't. Pow. To Pickett. Oh, he's bowled over by Byron Pickett. Very high. And Pickett will get up. He'll go close to Kim. this. Goddard streaming for it, but the veteran, he knows that he might uh, well get this over the line with a bit of help from Kaczynski on the goal line. Pickett was trying to pick Pickett's pocket. <laughs> Right on the siren. Boy, is this a big kick. Justin Peckett in game 252. It might be his last. Gives it everything. But doesn't make the diff distance. And this is an absolute rattler at the MCG. Elimination final. Sudden death. Three-quarter time. 62 plays 53. The Saints by nine. What a sensational game of footy quarters. Just everything you want to have. We've got injuries. We've had fights. We've had uh, incidents off the ball. Byron Pickett on screen thrown his weight around and got Melbourne back into the game. You almost thought that Melbourne maybe were going to just run away with the game and then St Kilda to their credit fought back and then two late goals in the quarter to Melbourne. This is a sensational game. Can't wait for the last quarter. This is vintage finals football. Who's got the petrol in the tank? Will it be the Demons or will it be the Saints? Gehrig, Hudson, Voss, Clark, Harvey will all start on but are struggling. Well, Fraser, Gehrig and Carroll uh, don't like each other. Let me say that. And they're at each other while this ball's going their way. Del Santo gives the Saints first crack. Cameron Bruce, though, over the top. He's been outstanding tonight, Cameron Bruce. Shut Robert Harvey down in that uh, third quarter. Been a great night for him. Ward poking it forward. Stolen by Ball. Clever. Milne can run in if he likes. Will he be mown down? He had to give it off. Harvey. Harvey has missed it. The Saints lead by 10 points. Remember that in their last game last year, a knockout final, they led by seven points going into the last term and were blown away by Sydney. Kaczynski in the ruck. Harvey started this game across the half-forward line. Bruce ran down to cover him. you got Fraser Gehrig on one leg in the forward line. Aaron Hamill struggling. They've got very little up forward as far as key forwards go. Big quarter for Nick Revolt. Short kick to Bruce. 
And he's up to 22 possessions to the wing. Rivers has got the height on Thompson. Here's Kaczynski. Did it nicely to Revolt. A oh, good kick. Hamill. Can he get there? He can. That is a terrific mark from Aaron Hamill. If he gets up quick, he's got a uh, little mill. Had to expend every gram of energy. Well, what's he do, Luke? Does he go the banana or the drop punch? Yeah, I think he's got to bend this one around the corner. He's had a look this uh, contest by Andrew Thompson. And this is an outstanding mark back with the flight. With still a wet ball, though. It's a dry one to start the quarter. Don't know if he's uh, good enough with the drop punt to slot it through. He might have to run around and try and snap around the corner. Aaron Hamill. He earns his spot with this. Does he what? White. Oh, it's a great juggling mark. Thanks, Fraser. That's it. Hold there. No, no, he's right there. Right there. Hamill's second kick of the night. Disappointing result. And a couple of chances, Tim. The, the Robert Harvey miss on the run and the set shot there from Hamill. They're only two minutes in, but they've got to make the most of them, St Kilda, because uh, they haven't got a lot of run left. The final round of the fight. Oh, Daniel Ward taking on Garrick, who ran bravely. Courageous effort to keep the Melbourne man under pressure. Davey, Revolt will be in his path. Davey's going to take him on. Does it well. Just hung in the air for Miller. Robertson from a long way. Sitting, hanging, meets. Oh, well done, Goddard. Magnificent stuff in defence, and what a kick to find Thompson. Dishes off to Baker. The Saints are away. No one at half forward. That is deliberate. If it goes out of bounds, that's what he wanted. Will umpire Goldsmith pay it? No, he won't. Oh, it must no, have been he won't. mustn't have been there. Well, we had a little chat with the uh, umpire's boss, and I would have thought from what they said, that would have been deliberate. I'm glad they didn't pay it as deliberate, but they should have from what they told us. No, he doesn't miss a trick. Rewall was third man up. But, uh, the spoils were snared by Bruce. Fed it out to McLean, who has had a very good game. Kicks in the direction of Robertson. Peckett against Johnston. They both overrun it. So did McDonald. Pushed over by Del Santo. Now there's a couple of Saints there. Well on by Fisher. Fed it out to Goddard. Got it to Harvey. Robert Harvey. The kick. Oh, that is a magnificent kick to Milne. Stephen Milne looking to play on. Oh! Just too cute, Stephen Mill. We've seen that several times tonight, and it just kills your team when you do that. Melbourne have soaked up the pressure early in this quarter. Matthew Bate has looked at home in the heat of the finals contest. Bruce goes for Neitz, and he's got him. Massive test for Melbourne tonight. If they can't beat St Kilda, as depleted as they are, you just wonder if they'll ever get into a grand final. And you can see there the reaction of Grant Thomas. Trying to be cute in these wet, slippery conditions is not percentage football, and Stephen Milne should have learned his lesson by now. The skipper for his fourth. Oh, so close. The margin is nine points. The agony of it etched on his face. I reckon the match winner for Melbourne, if they get up, is Cameron Bruce. Goddard, long kick to Kaziski, takes a good mark against Davy. Flash, two metres! Oh. Oh. Another sloppy kick. Fisher's going to have to be good, here he is. I oh, did it well under immense pressure. Sam Fisher over to Graham. Now kicks in the direction of Revolt. Beautiful roving again by McLean. Good, clean hands to Johnston. And the kick's perfect to Bate, who releases to Miller. Back to Bate. He was flat-footed, but Melbourne had the numbers. The overlap came from Green. Now, can he use the football? He's got a couple of loose demons. Oh, oh, but he went to Davey, and it was beautifully done by Stephen Baker. Magnificent stuff. He is playing 50 out. metres. Have a look at that crack from Stephen Baker. The glove has wrapped itself around another victim tonight. No need to carry on like that. There's no need for that. Stern little lecture from Darren Goldspink. Goddard 
Another lovely kick. But Carroll, a match for Gehrig. The first goal still to come in this last quarter. In fact, there hasn't been a score. And hearts are in mouths all around the Melbourne cricket ground as the 2006 final series is underway. Loop ball to Peckett, who has missed the unmissable. Nice play. Ruck worked on the flow towards goal. Ball, quick hands. Three opportunities they've had the Saints in this final term. Harvey, Hamill, Peckett. But they can't put the Ds away from the kick in. McLean, oh, well done by Thompson. Got to beat three of them. Harvey. Handballs to Goddard, lost a handle on it. Johnston. Fed it out to Bate. Got it to White. In traffic to McDonald. Handball went straight to an opposition player and Harvey spills the ball, kicks it inside 50. It's all Melbourne here. And <laughs> taking the Marcus Carroll. Fraser Garrett, Gehrig, who is just gone, can hardly move. He's doing his best. Well, he's got to play on heart now. He's got a crook ankle, no doubt about that. But the chase that he put on early in this last quarter was inspirational stuff. And Melbourne have got to believe that they can win this. They do. They must not panic. They really should be able to land the knockout blow. But St Kilda are clinging magnificently and trying to worry the demons out of it. Davey, scything kick. Beautiful kick. McLean, wonderful player for Melbourne. 21st disposal coming up. Got out up. Couldn't hang on. Fisher. Goddard to Baker. Saints out of the 50 again. Graham. Uze's got him. Green. Oh. To not much. Neats. Well, he did some pushing and shoving. And he did the job. No, he hit the post again. Sensational play in the initial part by Neats. Look at this. He just cleared three or four St Kilda players out. It was a five-on-one contest and hit the post. Can you believe it? Ball back into play. Great little handle by Voss to Mill, the half four to Kaczynski. Gets the handle to Montagna. Kicks it long to Hamill. Into the pocket. Throw in. Cameron Bruce continues to run with Robert Harvey. Both of them will be underneath this ruck contest. Ricks to go with White. White can't be struggling to get there, Jeff White. He's had to run 100 metres to push down. Ricks the front posse. Ward's in there. Is that a free kick? It is. It's going to Stephen Baker. Oh, and Davey. He's put down Hamill. He has lost the clock. He has lost the pot. That is just so undisciplined. A gimme goal for the Saints. Hang on, hold, hold, hold. It's 50, OK? Right there. Oh, an incredible aberration. He's been so much the heart and the soul of this of Melbourne team this year, Aaron Davey. You can just see the niggle by Hamill, experienced player to give the niggle, and he sucked the young fella in. And St Kilda lead by two and a half kicks. The Demons with the job in front of them. Voss takes it wide. St Kilda will not let go of this. Jones brought down. Good stuff from Peckett. I almost reckon if you're uh, Neil down here now, you've got to take a punt. You've got to give David Neitz the whole forward line. I'd go back to Aaron Davey and just say, mate, you sit around the feet of David Neitz. We know this has been the worst night you've probably ever had. Come back on and win the game for us. And I reckon that's what they'll do. Just give him time to cool off and realise what has to be done. What to McDonald. Bad fumble by McLean. Rare error. Got himself into trouble. Got them out of it. McDonald, Sylvia there, but in bad position. Sam Fisher has it covered. 
and he's really let the Saints down this year. Montaigne with Brad Green. Good effort, Green. Fisher arrives, though, followed his own kick. Robertson holds him up. Andrew Marr. Oh, Aaron Davey, you can just sense that he's embarrassed, he's humiliated, he's cooling his heels, as you've said. He just He's dying to get back out there and redeem himself here. From the throw-in, it's inside Melbourne's attacking 50, but it's Powell with his head over the ball. He looks tired. Just managed to get the handball away in the nick of time to Baker, has been sensational. So is Fisher. Kicks to the wing, Graham against Uze. Well done by Uze. Travis Johnson's got to be clean here. He is. Evades the tackle. Puts it inside Great 50. Kick. Great kick. And Matthew Bate will go back, the 19-year-old, and kick from about 47 metres out directly in front. And you can just see the tackle slip there from Andrew Thompson and the long raking pass. Only a talented player can do that in these slippery conditions. Matthew Bate, the boy from Croydon in the outer east of Melbourne suburbs, playing his 13th game of football, and he's kicked his eighth goal. Interesting. Robert Harvey's down in the goal square for St Kilda. Neil Danaher has taken Bruce from that uh, defensive position to get him up on the wing. That is a very good move because Cameron Bruce is one player who can win this game for the Demons. This is a colossal struggle. Young Jones for Melbourne. The 18-year-old trying to get it to the 19-year-old. But Hamill to ball. And the Saints are away. Here's Milne. Ward, though, cut him off. Did it well. Kick not so good. Revolt places it to a nicety. Kozitski arriving, but no. Brad Green and the Demons can hurt on the counter-attack. One Brad to another. Miller to McDonald. Now Uze. Makes one out the goal square. And Uze's after him. Low, flat and quick, but just didn't quite hit the target. Meets. Missed an easier one. Misses this. Maxi. Three behinds this quarter to David Neats, including two posters. Eight points as we pass the halfway mark of the final term. Robert Harvey spent the last six minutes. Oh, oh the kick in is too short. In the pocket is uh, Green to Bruce. To McLean! back on have a look at the reaction Brock McLean kicks the goal it's set up by Cameron Bruce who's been moved into the midfield will the youngster get the demons over the line they led for four minutes in the middle he stages of the opening turn Brock McLean has been outstanding tonight 24th disposal coming up six tackles and a goal he's been the engine room man for what oh. out where he kicked the goal to put Melbourne in front of your Bulldogs late last year, Luke Darcy. Davey, here he goes. Can he do the business? You just never know. Impossible angle. Good kick. Neats. Oh. Well done, Aaron Davey. And that's the beauty of this game. Six minutes ago, he was feeling the pits. He's back on, and he's set his skipper up for the goal that could put the Demons in front. Wolsey, Brock McLean, exhausted, coming off for a break. They last led at the 12-minute mark of the first term. Grant Thomas has watched his team lead for 99 minutes tonight. Watched them trail for only five, but right now, with time ticking away, they're behind. Robert Harvey has to be put into the midfield. Have the Saints got anything left? Smash forward by j -Mark. Fisher handball intercepted by Bank, who just pumps it inside the 50. But he's flying everywhere. Right by Pickett. Handball's over the top to Uze. Can't knock it on. Pickett gets it back. Pickett snaps at goal and kicks a point.
Fraser Garrick on the St Kilda bench and not even looking like coming back on again at this stage. Well, I look at Robert Harvey. He's in the goal square for the Saints. They need him in the thick of the action. The Melbourne momentum is growing in the last eight oh, minutes. This quarter oh. feels as though it's been going for an hour. It has been a cracker of a match. Stephen Baker goes for distance and for revolt. Two against him, and that was a magnificent mark by Matthew Bate. Courageous as they come. Well done, young fella. He is a true redhead. Johnston. Oh, he waits his kick so perfectly. Finds Miller. If Melbourne kicked the next, St Kilda might be fading away. Green is dangerous. He's a left footer. Has he got enough of it? No, he hasn't. They lead by a goal. Brendan Goddard's had a fantastic final tonight. He's had 23 disposals and really got back and caused a lot of problems in defence uh, for Melbourne. Sam Fisher's also been excellent as he kicks to Montagna, who marks at half-back. Chip one over the top. Good hard running from Peckett. Oh, he's got a loose mill at half-forward. Now, Stephen Mill can almost go on and kick a goal here. Stephen Mill decides to do the team thing where he could have run on and almost had a shot. It was a terrible error in judgment from Stephen Mill. And if you were Grant Thomas right now, you'd pull any hair out of your head you had left. Terrible mistake from Mill as Pickett goes to the ring and it's marked by Miller. It's not the first error of judgment he's made tonight, nor in this last quarter. Doing this well, Melbourne. Patient, making the spaces, putting the blocks on, chipping it around. And Johnston rising to the occasion of this last quarter. Here's Bruce, two grabs. Jamar took it off him. Still Bruce a chance. Consummate skills, curling kick. Oh, oh. Leeds having a go at it. It's the Demons by seven points. He's a star, Cameron Bruce. A little oh. bit of holding. The kick ins marked by Sam Fisher and he's off. Rick's off. G train on. Kicks to the wing. Oh, having a fresh air, he was Ward. Milne might have another chance here. Carroll slides into it. Knocks it away. Revolt. Disposal number 20. And it's a beautiful kick to Kaczynski. Just he's just back. about within range. Just go back and kick a goal, son. Kaczynski's kicked one. Great skills from Nick Revolt. 45 degree angle. Robert Harvey sprinting off the field. He's 45 metres out. Harvey off, Thompson on. Justin Kaczynski to make it a one point ball game. Oh, it's close. Oh, it's hit the post. We haven't had a drawn final and extra time since 1994. We're one straight kick away from having one tonight. You played in that one too. Hawthorne and the Kangaroos, Rob, out at Waverley. Remember Waverley? And Wayne Carey basically won it for the Roos in the end. Pickett, long ball for White. Unbalanced by Pickett illegally. We're in the last five minutes. In the last two years, St Kilda have been eliminated after leading into the last quarter of knockout finals. Again, they've led tonight. Right now, they're looking down the barrel. Here's an injured Aaron Hamill. There was a whistle, and it's against Hamill. Third Rivers ball. Melbourne looking for the knockout blow, and a goal would be that. Three goals, six the Demons have kicked in this final turn. Saints, one goal, three. All Melbourne. Neats will have three against him. Where are the Rovers? They're in some kill to colours. Pressure on. Bruce missed it. <laughs> Handy point, Tim. It is. It counts. Well, the Saints haven't got anyone in their forward 50. All their players have uh, run upfield. 
completely disjointed, got no forward structure in place. And the G-Train really hobbling. Goddard's kick has found ball. But there is nothing on offer. He's going to have to kick to a contest. Sylvia for Melbourne. Ball spills. Johnston. Wins possession. Runs to 55. Squares it up to Neitz against Hudson. Too much on the kick. He overcooked it. And Sam Fisher balls oh, oh, Max Hudson. Max Hudson's caught a Melbourne player around the neck. Poor old Max. He's had a shocker. Brock McLean is the man. I didn't even see it, Rob. I was uh, watching the ball. Threw the arm out. I thought it was a free kick when I first saw it. I don't know if we've got a good angle of it, but it just looked like he caught him around the neck, and there's just no need for it. Well, this would be the sealer. We'll have a look at it in a second. And put an end to St Kilda's season. Brock McLean. just about being best on ground. Max Hudson is spitting chips. And you reckon the Saints are gone. Here's a replay. Fisher had the ball. Oh. Caught him over the shoulder. And it's just careless, and he's been careless all night. The Demons lead by 13. And they're home. How about Brock McLean's night uh, quarters? You called it best on ground. 25 possessions. He had 10 clearances, six tackles, and kicked his second goal. What an outstanding effort. Well, the youngsters got him up. Well done. The first man to him was Aaron Davey, wearing his relief on his sleeve. Demons looking to take it away and really finish this. Bruce to Ward. And it's back with Ward. And the Demons are going for broke. Neitz is there, Uze is roving him, and he does finish it. They've cracked the code. They're going to win their first final in four years. The Demons are on the way. Just the presence again from David Neitz in the goal square. It's just causing Max all sorts of problems at the moment. It was a great attempt to spoil, really, in the end. But uh, have a look at Neil Danner. <laughs> He's gone for the drum roll on the, uh, on the coach's box. Great emotion. And the other side of the thing is, uh, is Grant Thomas. It's uh, a cruel game for him. And it's going to be taken by Kaczynski. He'll have to come back over the mark. It's an interesting decision, that, because Jeff White's done that to Kaczynski all night, jumped early and got a ride. This time they paid the free kick. Sam Fisher's battled his heart out. A long ball inside 50 from the side. Missed by Carroll. Oh, Milne almost. Hamill. Bruce. Again, numbers with Melbourne. Travis Johnston. Gee, Travis Johnston's lifted in the oh, second half. Oh, kick smothered. Intercepted. Montagna. Run down. Ward, Rivers and Johnston will concede the point. Shades of last year for the Saints. Overrun in the last quarter of a knockout final at the MCG. Daniel Bell just tweaking the lower leg there. Gives to McDonald. The margin is 18 points. And time is virtually gone. Melbourne can soak up some of it now with a little bit of strategic keepings off. The Saints have been brave. I think Melbourne have been braver. Saints jumped them early. Five goals in the first quarter to St Kilda. They've only kicked five in the remaining three. The big Melbourne following here. The members deep with them. They haven't watched Melbourne win a final for quite a while. 
It is going to happen. It has been one heck of a fight. Back from nearly five goals down. Who knows what would have happened if Fraser oh, Gehry hadn't missed on the run from a sitter during the second quarter. Well, had three shots in the first five minutes of this quarter, Tim. Missed them all. Speaking of missing ball, missing Montagna there, and it's all Melbourne. Miller to White, to Rivers. And the Ds can build up again. The hapless Milne on his hammer. Rivers plays for territory. Voss and Sylvia. And there'll be a throw in. They don't need the free kick. And it was barely there. Well, the Demons will go on and play the loser of tomorrow's match between the Crows and the Dockers. And 2006, unfortunately, is over for the Saints. It's a grand old fight. It's a high fight. fight. It's the emblem for me and for you. It's the emblem of the team we love. The team of the red and the blue. Every heart beats true for the red and the blue. And we sing the song to you. have come from almost five goals down to win by three goals and it might be time to say goodbye to a few Saints let's go down to Andrew Mark. Thanks very much Cordes what a warrior this bloke was mate what a super effort, what a super super effort mate you are uh, you never know what to expect in finals and you know they got two or three goals up and you know, they started to yap a bit and, you know, we just put our head down, our bum up and just kept fighting and fighting and, you know, the boys credit, you look at the scoreboard and, we, you know, we've won a final for the first time in four years, so. I know you're not going to want to pump up your own tyres, but your effort in that last quarter was supreme. What did you say to yourself at three-quarter time? Oh, I've, been, I've been doing a bit of work with our psychologist with, about, uh, you know, I wasn't having the best of nights and he said, well, just, you know, get rid of those thoughts in your head and just think you can always do something and... You know, came to three-quarter time, hold on, I just said to myself, I said, you got to lift here, mate, and, uh, you know, it turned out to have a good last quarter, so... Sensational stuff, well done, well done. Over to you, Christy. Thank you, Andrew. Well, David, that was a massive effort in the last turn. Thank you, Brock McLean. Massive effort in the last turn. What did you draw on at three-quarter time? Is it just a belief in each other? Yeah, look, exactly right. We came in half-time and we were a few down, but we knew that we just kept at it and kept at it. You know, it was a low-scoring game. We kept ourselves there around the mark, and, uh, you know, the third quarter was fantastic. It was really good in that third quarter. In the last quarter, the boys just, you know, really rallied. We knew that uh, we had the momentum going into that last quarter, and uh, uh, fantastic. The winner fired from behind. It was just beautiful. <laughs> You've missed the last couple of years, finals the last couple of years. Your teammates said you'd be the difference tonight. Your four goals certainly went a long way towards yeah, that. Yeah, exactly right. Well, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, it, uh, the boys were just fantastic. They kept in, in the game, the work around the footy, you know, they didn't give it up at any stage. And uh, no, the boys were, uh, were just really, really good tonight. Really Congra them. Congratulations. Good luck for next week. Andrew Barr. Thanks very much, Christy. Down with Nathan Carroll. Mate, you're four, four and a half, five goals down early in the game. You're up against some of the biggest guns in the league, what do you say to yourself? You've played a super three quarters at the end of the match. Yeah, well, the boys, we just said we've got to keep going at it. You know, it's do or die for race, so we knew we were fitter than St Kilda and we, we got over. That, that was that was clearly the thought, wasn't it? That they had they had injured bodies, they were down, they were struggling. Is that what you kept saying to yourselves? That sooner or later, they're going to break? Yeah, we heard a few of them in the first half, so they, they got, got the team up and uh, at half time we knew if we just kept running, we get over the top. It's a fierce and physical slog. It's a tough game. How do you feel right now? Do you feel like you've, you're walking on air, that you've got something left to give next week? Best feeling. We are at all year for this, so hopefully we can keep going. Mate, magnificent performance. Well done. Back to you guys. Well, they're pretty happy with themselves, the Ds, Rob. They're high-fiving the crowd. Well, they've got every reason two quarters, and there's a couple of relieved demons there. There's one of them, Aaron Davey, and there's the other one, Big Benny Holland. They'd be saying, thank goodness the boys got up, because if they hadn't, I think I'd have a very long, sad summer. Yes, losing the last two elimination finals, and no-one is more relieved than the coach, Neil Danaher. He will face the loser of tomorrow yep. afternoon's match between Adelaide and Fremantle next week in a knockout semi-final.
David Neitz kicked four goals, three. He's uh, now on 599 career goals. Well, Speaking of people on the brink, Robert Harvey was the last man into the race for the Saints. Yeah. I wonder I'm if we see the last of again. Thompson and Peckett and maybe Harvey. Yeah, they've got some decisions to make. I think there were two 33-year-olds in Thompson and Peckett, 35-year-old Harvey. I'd say Harvey should go on on what I've seen this year. Back to Christie. Thank you. Well, Aaron, you came off the ground. You looked so disappointed. You were desperate to get back on and make amends, weren't you? And you certainly did it. Yeah, Stephen Baker obviously done a good job tonight. Um, just followed me wherever I went and got a bit frustrated in the last five, ten minutes. Gave away a free kick and a 50. And, um, yeah, got taken off. Got a few words from the coach and Chris Fagan and just thought no better way to come on to lift my spirits and try and get involved and hopefully get the boys over the line. And we were lucky enough to get that. So, um, yeah, good. What was going through your mind when you took control of the ball? I actually thought oh, I'm going to go for goal here, but um, yeah, I just slipped off the boot and uh, yeah, Nita was strong enough, so, but I better head off anyway. Well done. So the Demons through to week two of the finals for 2006. We're going to follow them into the rooms. As we said, they'll play the loser of tomorrow's match between the Crows and the Dockers. David Neitz leads the way. He's a colossus. He is. Four goals through this afternoon. Two posters in the last quarter. Jeff White. Just think David Neitz could be a huge factor uh, going forward in the finals. He missed the last two final series. He's in as good a touch as I think I can remember seeing him for five or six years. And uh, all the full, full backs left in the finals. Good luck. He's uh, going to be a hard opponent. What would the Demons prefer, Rob, to face the Crows at Amy or the Dockers at Subiaco? Um... Well, they got beaten by the Crows at Amy last week, didn't they? I, I think that they'd be happy to go to Amy again. I, I think the Dockers at Subiaco on the big open spaces, because uh, they're going to they're gonna take, they're going to need seven or eight days to come up after this very physical contest. So I think Amy Stadium, just a little bit smaller the ground, and uh, keen to go back there and make amends for that bad one last week. The good thing that they've got going for them, Russell Robertson had a poor night tonight, so did Aaron Davey. That's good, because it means that they can improve. And Pickett's got another game under his belt. I think yeah. this win will do them the world of good. They were a team that didn't quite know how to win a final when the night started. Now they've won one. The Demons home by three goals as we go to the break. Have a look at the reaction on some of their faces. They are a very happy and relieved football Happiness, team. More or less, it's just a change in me, something in my liberty. On my mind. Happiness coming and going. I watch you look at me, watch my fever growing on. Just 